I recently watched a movie. Guys, if any of you are Czech, if, if, any, of you, if any of you are from the Czech Republic, I'm sorry, okay? There is a Czech movie that I watched. I'm trying to get the title right. Hold on a second. The name of the film was called Marketa Lazarova. It was a film that was made in 1967. Guys. It is considered to be the best movie ever made in the history of of Czech film, Czech cinema. So I decided to watch it. I decided to watch it. Let me tell you guys. This movie was two hours and 45 minutes long. What can I say about this movie? First off, let's watch the trailer. And then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the movie. Because the trailer is very impressive. I'm not going to lie. The trailer for a film that came out in 1967. It's not a bad... It's not a, a badly shot movie. Yes, Nico Zelotis is one of the greatest of all in Greek film. A Greek music. I've been listening to him since... 2011 or something. Uh, it's not the real trailer. Okay, so let's look at the trailer of Marqueta Lazarova, the Czech film. Did you feel every minute of it? Well, no, because sometimes I would literally just go to sleep. So let's watch the trailer for this movie, and then I'll give you guys... Oh my god. I'll give you guys my thoughts on there. I'm gonna shrink myself. So let's watch this movie. Some of the... I will say that they are shots. Does the movie have subtitles? Yes, it does. They are shots in this movie that are very well done. There is acting in this movie that's very, very good. But just the arrangement... Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you, my, I'll give you guys my thoughts after watching. Let's watch the trailer. This guy was totally simping for this girl movie, by the way. He was... And she, this this girl in the movie is it, it so annoying. She's the most annoying character in the whole movie. Th like, literally, every scene of this girl, she rarely ever talks. And every scene in the movie, she's like... Huh? 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 like That's the problem with films made in the 60s, is that for some reason, they would have these scenes that would, that would just drag on. And then the characters would just make really annoying noises... For 10 minutes. You'll see this in the Spaghetti Western movies. Where they'll have a guy on the desert. And he's super thirsty. And he's like. <laughs> and, and it goes on for like 5 minutes. You're like okay we get it you're thirsty. Okay can we like move on please. You're dragging on. This girl in this movie, she does this like throughout the whole film. She's just like scared and she's stupid and she just she just doesn't make any sense at all. I can't stand her. She's super annoying. Um, what else can I say about her? There's a scene in the movie. There's a rape scene in this movie. Okay, guys. I know it's made in the 60s, right? You think that didn't happen in the 60s, but it did. There's a rape scene in this movie. And you were like, oh, wow, that's really disturbing. And then like 10 minutes later, she's basically married to, married to the guy who raped her. Like, what the hell? She's, she gets raped by the guy, right? And there's this creepy music in the background, like, boom, boom, boom. You know, the 1960s, right? Boom, boom, boom. Whatever. It's like, you know, 
fistful of dollars type thing. And then, and then, and then, like twenty minutes later, ten minutes later or so, she's sleeping with the dude, and she's she's his lover. You know what I mean? Like, what what's the point of this disturbing scene? Only to see her ten minutes, fifteen minutes later, and she's getting banged by the guy. He's not even raping her anymore. He's just banging her, and, and she falls in love with him. Okay, let's watch the rest of this. This guy, by the way, totally sims for her. He told this guy totally sims for her, and she wants the rapist. <laughs> she wants the rapist, guys. It's crazy. See, these shots are beautifully done. Like, really, they're... Hold on, I'm gonna get this screen just perfect. Hold on, guys. I gotta get this screen. Oh, it drives me crazy. Okay, that's... That's good. Let me just shrink it. Uh, good lord. Let's, let's just shrink it a little bit. Why am I vouching for this movie again? No, I'm just giving you guys the positives and the negatives. I'm being as fair as I can. Um, so, like... <sighs> fuck. Okay, that's that's good enough. So, like, this scene... Some of these sh uh, shots are really good. Yeah, I know. So this is this this dude is a um, is like a thief. It's like the movie is about a gang of thieves, and they rob people, and then somehow we're supposed to be interested in their lives. So this scene, I'm gonna spoil the movie for you guys because nobody should watch this movie because it's so boring. So this scene, he's got no arm. Right? You can see he's, he's missing his arm. His arm has just been cut, cut off. So he tries to have sex with his own sister. This guy tries to have sex with his own sister. And so the father gets so mad that he cuts his arm his uh, his arm off. He cuts his son's arm off. Because he tried to have an incestuous relationship with his sister. Throughout the whole movie, this woman is just doing blank stares and acting annoying. and you And she's just dumb as rocks. She's just dumb. She has no depth to her whatsoever as a character. A lot of the film is focused on her. She's very annoying. There's only one character in this film that I actually found interesting. And uh, you'll probably see him in this trailer. By the way, the music in this movie was pretty decent. They do a lot of Gregorian chant. Yeah, they do a lot of Gregorian chant. It's a nice song. A lot of it, that's, that's one positive. And there, that's, you know, that's another positive for the film. The film was... Um, the film was uh, was well shot, right? The shots in the film are good. A lot of the acting is good. The music is good. The way that they arrange the story, the way that they do the story, the story sucks. Okay, that's just that's just the bottom line here. See, like, this shot, that shot is really good. The way that they, they they just walk towards this guy's face like that. This is a good shot. The castle, the snow, the face. It's a work of art, right? This is art. It's, it's well done. But the goodness of this film doesn't go beyond its, uh, its good shots. Now, this character was interesting because he's a heathen. He's a complete heathen. When I look at this character, it's it's all Czech, right? These are all Czech actors. 
I'm imagining this must have been how a soldier in Jan Hus's army must have looked like, right? Fanatic, lunatic, looks like a complete barbarian. I'm imagining the Hussite war here. That's what I'm imagining when I'm watching this guy. This is the only character who had, who I found to be interesting. He looked like a heathen. He played his role very well. He's barbaric. He's ruthless. I like this character. I mean, I don't like the character, but I found the character to be interesting. I found the character to be one that grabbed one's attention, right? One that grabs your attention. And you can just look at him and you imagine that this is how a Hussite warrior must have looked like. Yeah, the film is very well shot for an old movie. And yeah, you say, I wish, um, as, as best this is, I wish all old movies had shots. Yeah, I agree. Completely agree. Yeah, lousy screenplay. Now, this guy, this is the girl's father. And what happens is that these thieves come, they rob these German nobles. Then after they rob the nobles, this guy, this fat guy here, he comes around trying to steal what's like whatever's left. He's a scavenger. So the thieves come back and they're like, hey, what are you doing here? Blah, blah, blah. So they eventually have this riot. They have this, uh, not a rivalry, but they, ha they, they become enemies with this guy. And so and he begs for his life because basically they come in to kill him. He begs for his life and then they say, okay, we won't kill you, but we want your virgin daughter. So they take the virgin daughter and then one of the thieves rapes her. And that, that's the rape scene that I was referring to. There's no one in this movie that I really like. I, I did say that one character was interesting. I didn't like him. The guy's a scumbag. But I think that character was interesting, interesting in the sense that the actor played a good the actor played a good barbarian. He did a good job in playing a barbarian. Kind of like the character who did Hans Gruber in Rush Hour did a really good job in playing a sophisticated German criminal. I don't like Hans Gruber. He's evil. He's, he's a thief. But Hans Gruber's character is very well done. Just like that guy's character was very well done. Uh, but other than that, there's no one in this film that I like. There's no one in this film that I can invest my emotions in. The, I think audience... An audience member has to want to invest interest in a character, want to invest sympathy, admiration in a character. And there's none of that in this movie. I didn't admire anybody in this movie. Nothing. The main characters are thieves and scumbags. Uh, then you have the girl who's as dumb as rocks. She gets raped and then goes with the rapist. It's just a complete moron. I, there's nothing here that's interesting. Was made like a documentary? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't say that. I, I thought uh, Czech people are very atheistic, yes. This is the worst trailer for a movie ever. It literally tells us nothing about the characters. All we get is that epic Victoria. Well, a trailer really shouldn't tell you much. It should just give you an aesthetic appeal that's luring enough for an audience to want to wanna go see it. Like, these shots are really good, right? The facial expressions. They did a good job in that. And I think that's probably the reason, that's probably the reason why the film is so popular. good parts of the movie are in the trailer that's that's pretty much the case and the battle scenes in this movie they last like 30 seconds i mean they're just so badly done and, and it's just boring and ugh, garbage <laughs> So 
so I, I give this movie a 1 out of 10. I won't give it a 0 because there are some good aspects to it. I give it a 1. And the reason why I give it a 1 is because while there are good aspects to the film, the good aspects, the good characteristics of the movie pale in comparison to everything else, which is just terrible. So I give the film a 1 out of 10. You know what? I'll give it a 0 out of 10. I'll give it a zero. It's such a... Oh my God, dude. I fell asleep. There is one... I fell asleep multiple times in this movie. If you do have problem sleeping watch this movie seriously put this movie on youtube on your laptop try watching it and you'll fall asleep there is one scene in this film that that did grab my attention it's when a group of a, a pack of wolves attack a man and the man begins to fight the wolves and I'm like, wow, what's going to happen? Is he going to make it? Is he going to survive? Like, the, the suspense. There, there, this was the only film, the only scene in the film that built suspense. And the film cuts off. Right when he starts to attack the wolves, the moment he attacks the wolves, boom. Scene ends. And it never returns. You'll see, the man, you'll see that character who tried to fight the wolves walking by himself in the middle of the wilderness. You don't get to see it. There's nothing there. What, what happened? So there's this one scene that actually builds tension. And that attention grabbed my anticipation. And then it, it, it just ends. It just dwindles. Like uh, background noise. Just dwindles away. It's, terribly, it's a terribly done movie. And a lot of movies in those days just sucked. A trailer should pique your interest and a movie should have some redeeming characters or if not then at least a lesson to be learned i get angry yeah um 1917 was a great movie i watched it and wow you really sold this awful movie to us now <clears throat> one old movie that was really good this was the only old movie that i really liked one of the few old films that i think were really good this movie <laughs> was a masterpiece so this is a scene from the film that i really liked i would definitely recommend that you guys watch this movie <clears throat> it's a serbian film that came out in the 1980s i probably watched this film like four or five times it's so good this movie it's such a good movie guys it's so well directed the acting is beautiful i i recommend that everybody go watch this movie so here it is guys this film is a masterpiece Wait, where's the subtitles? Okay, here's the subtitles, guys. Sorry. Can you guys see the subtitles? Oh, shysta. You guys can't see it. Okay, let me enlarge it just a little bit. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm so sorry. I gotta get the window just right on this damn thing. It's so ugh, bloody annoying. How do I? How do I get? How do I use OBS? How do I get the screen just perfect? Okay, I want to enlarge it just a little bit. Just a little bit more. This movie, guys, is so well done. The acting in this movie is so good. Let's just watch it, okay? <laughs> Svetogradnika Georgija i Svetogradnika Dimitrija i Svetog Prokopija i Svetog Teodora Tirona i Teodora Stratilata Svetog Merkurija Svetog Artemija Svetog Nikitu Svetog Jevsevija Sada dobro pogledaj oko sebe makar je ovo što vidiš 
vidiš posljednji put. Podignite nas i podržite i povedite da u boj uđemo kao žeteoci u žetvu i da se kao žeteoci iz žetve sa obilnim hlebom iz boja vratimo. Obasijajte nas danas i ozarite. Napunite se nebesa ikonama, ikonama na svetim zastavama. I osnažite nas da se dostojno borimo za večniju i pravedniju rizan. That's when I first saw this scene, I was like, it's so powerful and the, the prayer is so powerful. The acting is, everything about this scene was perfect. It's just a perfect scene. It's so beautiful, guys. It's so beautiful. I think this film came out in 1986 or something. I don't remember. 1989. So basically a 1990s movie. Guys, this movie was so perfect. So perfect. You guys know, no, you don't want an English dub, but you'll ruin it. You'll you'll lose the spirit of the movie. You got to hear the actors and how they express themselves. You got to hear the expression. The expression has to be there. Read the subtitles, then you'll understand it. But you got to have that expression. You'll kill the film without the expression. Looking at this trailer, it comes to my mind. Alexander Nevsky movie. Alexander Nevsky. Is that a good movie? Alexander Nevsky. Sergei Eisenstein. Oh, this is interesting. This is a Russian movie. Interesting, is it good? I only English dub animate. You can do it with cartoons, because cartoons, the, the, the mouths don't really match the expression. An old movie... You don't really need to have the original language on a cartoon because the way that they do the mouths, you can put any language in there and it fits. Alexander Nevsky, The Holy Russian Emperor. The movie was from the 70s, I think. Was it good? Was it a good film? Would you guys recommend it or no? Kvaska! Where did they did battle scenes in those in those days? Your YouTube video is very loud. I don't I don't think that's the case, my friend. Don't go full screen. Okay. Use screen capture. Okay. Have you seen the Netflix movie All Quiet on the Western Front? No, but I saw some. I saw a little bit of it on YouTube, and it looks really good. Would you guys recommend All Quiet? On the Western Front, or no? Watch both Operation Mincemeat and Munich. I watched Munich. I think, I, yeah, Munich, right? But, but the Jews who killed the terrorists, or no? Munich, The Edge of War. I have not seen this film. Operation Mincemeat. Operation Mincemeat, The Great Deception. The Kiev Rus. Yeah, for sure, you need to see it and get more familiar with Nevsky and the Kiev Rus. Interesting. The original Ukrainians, okay. The original Ukrainians. By the way, are you Serbian or Russian? What are you? I don't your word your your channel your channel name is in Cyrillic, so but I can't tell if it's Russian or Serbian. Did you watch Northman? Ah, oh, I really want to watch it. I haven't done it. The last film I watched was this Czech movie and it sucked. I hated it. Long ass movie with nothing that happens. Just you have these scenes in the film that just drag on and this and this dumb girl is like Oh, Serbian. Oh, Zdravo, Zdravo. How are you doing? 